Okay, so I mentioned in another video, in two videos, anyway, so yeah, I had an appointment on Thursday to meet up with a, uh, psych a psychologist to get the initial approval for sex reassignment surgery, and, you know, that went through, and as I mentioned in the other video, I have an appointment on the 7th to go meet up with some more mental health professionals as well as the surgeon who's going to be doing the sex reassignment surgery. And it's it just finally, just a few minutes ago, it really started to sink in that this is this is for real and this is actually happening. And I'm just you know, it's right now it's like my brain is going, Holy shit, this is for real And I've just I'm just overcome with emotion. It's it's it feels kind of like you know, it's kind of difficult to describe because, you know, being autistic, I do have some issues with in that department, but I guess it feels something like a combination of anxiety, you know, trepidation, and elation. You know, it's like I'm simultaneously, you know, just ridiculously just thrilled and happy but at the same time, also kind of scared. You know, it's... Because this is like... This is a very serious thing. And... I guess part of the reason why I'm so overcome with emotion is... There was a time... When I... Decided that I wasn't going to bother with sex reassignment surgery because... I never... I didn't think I was going to be able to afford it. You know, it's basically what it came down to is I had this dream and I just decided, well, that's never going to happen. So I, I just need to not worry about it. And, you know, and I guess to, to some extent or another, in those kinds of situations, you can learn to move on. And that's more or less what I had done. And now all of a sudden... This, this dream that I've had for years is like now finally becoming a reality and it's like, holy shit. It's, I'm curious if there's any other trans people watching this video who have had sex reassignment surgery or maybe are going to have it. Have you had this same sort of thing going on where the reality of getting the surgery is finally sinking in and you're feeling kind of whatever, feeling like I'm feeling. Because I imagine there has to be a certain... Because it seems to me like a combination of just excitement and fear seems like a reasonable thing. Because on the one hand, yeah, you're going to be ridiculously excited that you finally get to have this done. But on the other hand, it is kind of scary. It's like... You know, sure, you could, you know, watch videos where people talk about their experiences and you can read about the procedure and all of this, but it's still, in a sense, the unknown. Because, you know, I'm, I, I, can't, I can't really imagine what it's going to be like to have a different, different kinds of genitals. It's just, and I imagine it's going to definitely take a certain amount of getting used to. So it's it's really kind of uncharted territory. And yeah, it is a little scary, especially since, you know, it's not a minor surgery. You know, it's and there could be complications and, you know, and although I, I gather that it's pretty rare these days, it is always possible that something could happen in that my ability to have an orgasm will be completely destroyed. You know, but I suspect that's not going to happen because, you know, they've been doing these kinds of surgeries for so long, they've pretty much, they've got all the bugs worked out at this point. So, but it sounded like this was more common in the past, but they've been, like I said, they've been doing it long enough that shouldn't be an issue. And even though the surgeon who's going to be doing this is brand new to doing sex reassignment surgery, he's been a plastic surgeon for a number of years. And he actually went to Belgium to go study how to do this procedure. So I'm not particularly worried that 
that it's necessarily going to be anything bad on his part. Granted, I am some, a little, just a little bit leery about getting the uh, procedure done by somebody who's brand new, but that's, but that's the only thing my insurance will cover. So, you know, I'll take what I can get, basically. But yeah, it's, it's a, it's just, it's amazing that this is finally happening. You know, it's, it's just. You know, my brain just kind of doesn't know what to do with it. It's like, yeah, it's, you know, I mean, there's, it's, you know, I'm even having trouble, you know, coming up with words because it's amazing. It's just the way to put it or the way I, you know, put it on Facebook is it's epic. You know, it's. Yeah, it's it's amazing that this is like actually gonna happen. It's pretty fucking amazing. You know, and you know, I wonder if any of anybody who might be watching this video, if you've ever had any kind of an experience where something that you really wanted to have, something you a dream you had you know that you just basically had to resign yourself to the to the idea that it was never going to happen but then it did happen i'm curious if you could maybe talk a little bit about that because i suspect that regardless of what that dream is you probably felt somewhat like i'm feeling right now so <clears throat> Yeah, this is just, it's amazing. And I'm not sure what else to say, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And please, please feel free to comment. And as always, my comment section is open. And, and I will not be censoring people's comments, you know, unless it's things like doxing or outright spam. So... You can ex you can say whatever you want, whatever opinions you have that you want to share, feel free to share them, and I I will I will definitely try to keep making videos all through this process, and I will definitely do my best to make sure that I've got, you know, the means to make videos when I go to the hospital. If nothing else, it'll be my cell phone, but. I'm going to see about getting a laptop, you know, sometime between now and whenever the surgery happens. So I'll have something a little nicer to to do the social media thing on. But, you know, and maybe watch some Netflix. That might be nice. And so, yeah, I will see you all later.